Me, um, I woke up around like, um, like around 11-ish, and I had uh, Dunkin' Donuts, hazelnut coffee, then I just chilled, did some trigger point therapy massage, uh, some yoga, hanging around the house a little bit, talking to my sister, playing sleeping dogs, and uh, been on the internet a little bit too, and then that's pretty much it. I was taking a break from sleeping dogs. Or what about you? Nice. True, true. Yeah, I ate a little while ago and sure to avoid even bread because especially with wheat. I had some French bread though, but yeah, wheat will slow down your brain and all that. Um we vote this March for uh primaries. I I switched my party. And uh, they said that you could do it online, but it's apparently not. So you gotta do like a DMV building or a voter registration building, where that is some sort of federal building, or you can mail it in. It's gotta be 28 days before the election, 29 days. So I still got time. We vote in March, sometime in March. Um, and hopefully, I don't know if they're gonna do state state votes too. I mean we voted in 2014 so I don't know but I'm hoping that we can vote yeah on some um, medical marijuana at least I'll be able to get it somehow I'll think of something <laughs> I'll be like I got back pain or you know I don't got a job I'm bored and uh, I don't get out much so I need some serotonin booster or I pretend I'll just just use my ADD card or, you know, I'll be like, I don't like cancer, can I get it? Um, I don't know, something. With or without the THC. I mean, because it, it'll help your body, nonetheless. But if they give it with the THC, then that's cool, too. Sometimes. Yeah, yesterday I just came online to speak to Zer. I bought two different things. I didn't see anything good at all for me. And then I got off because I don't play much Destiny. Then I played Wolfenstein. I played some Sleeping Dogs. Yeah, I had some stuff that I've seen before. I just bought some like boosters and I bought uh, a gauntlet, a, a rare. I mean exotic, sorry. I forgot all these names. I could have had that other kill but the thing was I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. And I'm here like playing it safe. Oh this person danced after they killed me, nice. Uh, I figured out I did more research you see me posting a bunch of shit on a bunch of shit <laughs> uh, I I found out that that of course they misdiagnosed sciatica and the main reason and it makes sense I've been thinking about it it's because one of my muscles are too tight and uh, it's probably my left thigh because I have pain there like all the time and Oh look, I got a kill. And so, it's probably so tight that as one page said, from some therapy page or whatnot, and it's make that misdiagnosed that it's pulling so much that it's pulling my tailbone out of, out of the correct spot. So I gotta release it for trigger point, herbs and whatnot. Mm, I was reading that caffeine can tighten muscles. 
but I'm using tea and stuff too, so. Coffee is very healthy for you, but then again, it's a plant. So they say all plants have antioxidants and all that, but I mean, coffee has antioxidants, vitamins, uh, essential, uh, I don't know, minerals. It's, it's got a good handful of, it actually cleans your liver. They used to think it destroyed your liver. Um, so there's good benefits, but yeah, I'm working on my hamstrings now, definitely. I was doing it, I did like a couple times with it, but now I'm, I'm going to do it every day and see if the hamstrings retract and put it back into place because if a muscle is pulling every second of your life, it hurts every millisecond. You know, sometimes it doesn't hurt because you don't think about it, but overall it hurts. So it side of sucks. Gosh. So once I get that down. I'll be good. My right leg hurts a little bit too, but um, it's probably because of my left leg pulling so much that it's pulling the tailbone and it's pulling the right leg. I'm gonna go with that for a while. If that doesn't work, then I switch it up. But I do the hamstrings and I work on the tailbone and the back, of course, because back pain happens with me because I have bad posture over the years and whatnot so I need to repair that and then I need to maintain it so it doesn't happen again uh, that's in terms of health that's my only health my my fasting's doing great I, I re looked into fasting and um, they some people were trying to say detoxing is fake but I have science articles that say otherwise but they agreed at least they didn't they didn't say anything against fasting so and that detoxing might double your metabolism that's great too but um fasting actually has science behind it i saw an article with source after source so, uh, you type in fasting science you're gonna get legitimate science pages agreeing that fasting 100 percent works and then i got more pages so i shared it so people know it's not just a spiritual thing you know it'll help you so uh fasting is no problem for me sometimes i won't even eat you know till like 7 p.m or so i just forget to eat or not even care to eat your your body breaks down more when you eat too often and you become too tired you live less too so what i do it gives me so much energy it depends and uh, it fights off cancer too. So when you fast, your your body has the time to recover. And it's shown to eliminate cancers and stuff. Yeah, I saw you. Oh look, we're winning and I'm kind of talking shit. Okay. Oh man, nice one. Well, my score sucks, but at least, at least I did something. Let's see what I can do though. I don't know, I read that coffee diminishes your ability somewhat to lucid dream. But it's not the case, even though I feel like I'm more, I'm too deep sleep and I can't focus on my dream sometimes. So it's possible. But if you detox from coffee, I read it takes 24 hours to really get out of your system. But the main effects are gone, like in five or six hours. Three to six hours. So. so I've upgraded from one cup of coffee to two in several seconds. Oh. I don't think I'll get there, but thank you. And several cups of tea as well. I've been doing. I'm trying to fight off this sciatica. Got you. Oh, hello there. Damn it. I shouldn't have reloaded. Um. Let's see if they're gonna try to take A some more. Someone's shooting at me. 
right this way, gentlemen, ladies, right here. Someone shooting me. Oh shit. Pulse rifle at A. Okay, that person's dead. Damn, we're whooping them. Almost by 8,000 points. Yeah, I know. I'm not even playing that good because I'm not that a, I'm not that aggressive in games anymore. I just sit back and kind of watch. In any type of game, I still do pretty good though. I, I beat levels on the first try. Sometimes relaxed because I've been playing games for so long now. But I already know what to expect. That was good. Yeah, we we owned them. We owned them. I guess some good stuff too. Congrats. You're probably top of the team. I got another invitation. Um, well, look, I got four captures, which isn't too bad. Kill death 4.0. Yeah, you beat everyone. Congrats. Now let's look at the other team and compare it to the other team. You got the best kill death ratio of the whole game. Captures, I beat almost everyone except Dark Spider. I didn't do too bad for, you know, not even paying attention too much. I could have been one of those people that have only got one capture. Yo, that was horrible, man. One capture. That means you really weren't paying attention. People are texting or something. Or they're really weak, both. 